Hello everybody, Shinigaming here, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys a little bit about the sloop in Sea of Thieves. So first off, the sloop is smaller than all of the other ships. The Brigantine and Galleon are both much larger than the sloop. The sloop has two cannons, one on each side, which is much less than the other ships. One of the nice things about the sloop is that all of the controls for the ship, the helm, the anchor, the sail length, and the rigging, or the sail angle, are all up here in one area, making the sloop ideal for a solo player. It's much easier to sail a ship solo if all of your controls are right here, whereas both the galleon and brigantine are quite a bit harder. The cannonball barrels are up here on the deck, right next to the cannons, making them very easy to access. There are only two cannonball barrels, each with 20 cannonballs in them to start with. There are two lanterns on the front of your ship, and one up here next to the helm. Inside your ship, the ammo chest is right here to the left. The armory to change weapons is right here on the wall next to the ammo chest. The map is here in the back. There are more lanterns inside here. Each of these lanterns are visible from a distance. So if you are sailing around and you have not turned these off, like so. Uh, you are still visible at night, especially. Your table to propose your voyage is right here next to the stairs. And then your banana and wood barrels, your food barrel comes with 15 bananas. Your wood barrel comes with 15 planks, as opposed to the 20 cannonballs that your cannonball barrels start with. But they are both down here in the bottom, along with a clothing chest, a vanity chest, and an equipment chest to change your cosmetics, like so. Different cosmetic options, different vanity options, and different clothing options. Your tankard, or not tankard, but your, uh, what is this thing called? If you have, not a bucket, where's my grog? If you have a tankard, you can refill your grog. This is a grog barrel. I'm dumb, I can't remember what it's called, sorry. It is also down there. These barrels are just decorative. And that is most of the information on the sloop. You have a bell right here. Let's go up to the top of the mast real quick, up into the crow's nest. Up here you have another bell and a small ship flag box. Within the ship flag box, there are quite a few different options that you can change, especially if you unlock more, like I have unlocked the Forsaken Ashes flag, but you can also use the Reaper's Mark. Um, everyone in the ocean can see you if you have this flag equipped, and quite a few others. Now, if you want to form an alliance, you can offer this alliance flag. If there is another ship nearby that already has their offer alliance flag, there will be another option to join an alliance that you can use, and then you will join an alliance with them. The sloop is much more maneuverable than the Brigantine and the Galleon. The sloop is faster, at least I have been told. I have not been able to test this myself. It's kind of hard when you can't exactly get a good, you can't always get the same wind direction when you're trying to test different ships. So it makes it much harder to test the speed of a ship from location A to point B but the sloop is faster sailing directly into the wind than either of the other ships, but it is a little bit slower if you're sailing with the wind. The anchor only takes a little bit to raise. Even one person can raise the anchor fairly quickly. One full rotation will raise the anchor on the sloop, as you can see there. And the anchor also lowers faster than either of the other ships allowing you to stop much quicker. If you have a rowboat, it will attach right here to the back of the sloop, underneath, making it ideal for loading and unloading treasure, because you will be able to jump right into it and into the back of your ship to place your treasure wherever you would like. All right, guys, and that is all I have on the sloop. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully this helps you out a little bit. I'll also be doing videos for the Brigantine and the Galleon. I will see you guys next time.
Shinigami out.